Hey everyone, well we're back here again and uh, I'm going to try and get a, a couple of videos done here in this session. <coughs> and uh, what I'd like to start off uh, this one with is one that's a um, topic that seems to be coming up with me and there are some new areas seem to be opening up in what I call the dream state training if you will. And I'd like to talk about it for a few minutes. Um, I'm noticing lately by some of the communications that I've had with people at a personal level through emails and Facebook and social media as a whole that the dream state seems to be becoming the focal point for new developments and new experiences and new exposures and new abilities in the dream state as of late and they seem to be coming more and more often as as our personalities develop and become more mature and not so restricted based on three-dimensional belief systems that we've taken on. One of the things that I've noticed lately and I'm sure other people are going to concur with me on this particular point. I have begun to notice in my dream state at this point is I seem to be able to write my own programs at this point. Now what I mean by that is lately I've had a diversity of um, out-of-body experiences where I'm in a different timeline with different people um, and I'm noticing the <clears throat> clarity, the sound effects if you will, the scenery is becoming much better than what we have on our high caliber television sets these days. It's becoming that clear and that's very unusual for me. But what also has been happening as of late also is I've been having these, I don't quite know how to put them into words or something. I'm going to give the best I can. Just be patient with me, okay? I'm in the rudimentary stages here, probably like many others, developing some new capacities in the brain as it's beginning to open up. And it seems to be that I can get involved in an activity of some kind and be observing the activity unfolding and then at some point if I don't I'm not going to use the word if I don't like or if the frequency or the direction that the the play-by-play -play is going so to speak doesn't resonate with me I seem to be able to interject edit it, change it, and give it new direction by voice command. Now what I mean by voice command is I will notice this as this is happening. And you got to remember here again, I'm not asleep. I'm not awake. And some people call this lucid dreaming. I'm not so sure that lucid dreaming is the right word anymore. I think it's gone beyond lucid dreaming. I really do, to be quite honest with the whole pile of you. I don't know what the word is, but in being able to do that, to edit it, change it, whatever, I've noticed that I've been presented with a whole diverse bunch of themes, topics, places, innuendos, people, situation, communications, if you will, and be able to change it according to the vibration not because of a belief system or a thought pattern that I may contain that I want to influence the situation. It's as if, it's as if the frequency is not correct or in balance and the frequency of the situation is everything. 
so that as I don't feel the frequency going in a direction that is creative, productive, and amenable in balance, in union with the whole perspective, I can interject and change it by voice command. Now, also, what I'm doing is I'm making mistakes in doing that, in some cases making the situation worse than what it was generally going. So I have to go back and I have to redo it again. Now, what's also been happening, which is rather strange, at the same time, I seem to be developing the ability, if I wanted to, write novels. I'm getting whole complete stories, if you will, in visual presentation and verbal explanation of science fiction movies, uh, science fiction books, uh, books on love and romance and all kinds of stuff, books on this and different topics and subjects. And I've had a smattering recently also, and this is what really gets me excited, is as many of you know, and I'm, and I'm going to try to put this in a very simple way, not that anybody is stupid, I'm not suggesting that, but I like simplicity. I'm beginning to suspect by what I've been experiencing over the last few days, that because many of us have had very traumatic experiences in our life. There are very few people, if any, who haven't had some kind of trauma experienced by them. And the reason that I'm mentioning this is when you have a trauma that you're exposed to or you're the recipient of, what happens is some of your energy has to be used. In most cases, it comes from the emotional body. And sometimes it can come from the lower chakras also, is that energy is templated by an experience. An experience is an action-reaction type of situation. You are involved in an action-reaction situation. This creates a visual or an imprint which can be downloaded in some of the energy in your energy body, your emotional body, and also your etheric or third body for some, which in turn can affect your chakra system also, and which in turn can infect, in fact, <laughs> actually that's not a bad word, can affect the endocrine system as you're going through puberty, which I've gotten into briefly before. So what I'm finding is I'm getting a little snippets where the voice inside is saying to me suggestingly, is that a word, suggestingly? I don't know. Somebody looked that up for me, okay? Suggestingly, if that's a word. I don't think it is. Anyways, I'm constantly making up new words. Who cares anyways? As long as we're having fun, right? I'm having fun. You're having fun? What's been coming lately is I'm getting snippets or kind of half as vague indications. You know, and that's kind of funny because when I get introduced to new stuff, it never comes like a, you know, runaway train. It always comes like little tiptoe through the tulips type thing. And if you're not paying attention, you miss it. And I'm starting to get the idea that during the course of our evolutionary process, once we reach a certain stage, as we know, the dream state then becomes your next schooling education system, far, far superior to the educational system that we have on the planet right now. What it does, this educational system in the dream state, supplies you with all of the tools to become a multi-dimensional being, resuming and regrowing access to what you originally were which was an androgynous being. That's what we all were at one point, with different points of origin, places that we came from, etc., etc. What has happened is we've all gotten downloaded with so much stuff, we've lost who we are, where we came from, and our identity as a whole. 
So what's been coming as of late is I'm getting the the pictorial or the vision type of scenario along with words, the voice, suggesting that as we continue to mature, as we continue to evolve, what's, ha what's going to happen is that we're going to be able to go back, as it were, we're going to be able to reprogram the energy that has been traumatized and embedded and imprinted into our etheric, etheric bodies and the chakra system. How are we going to be able to do that? By just with the stuff that I've been talking about. In order to do something like freeing yourself literally in the dream state training school, you need to experience it slowly so that it becomes believable and it can be downloaded or templated as a new ability. Uh, let me kind of <clears throat> uh, make this uh, point here. A good many of you in the Soulmate, Twin Flame, all of that title stuff, have noticed that one of the things that does happen to many, many people is suddenly you start developing all kinds of gifts and some of these gifts you may have had before and all of a sudden they become very intensified. And sometimes you develop new abilities you didn't even know you had. Well, all of that stuff was there all the time. It's just part of being a multidimensional being. Everyone can do that. Everyone can telepathically communicate with each other at a multidimensional level. Doing it in three-dimensional reality in all of the cloud that surrounds us and exposed to different experiences of trauma and the rest of it that goes along makes it difficult. So in the dream state training, what I'm getting now is the understanding that participating in the dream state and having the ability to be able to change, edit in different venues and avenues is opening up an area of new possibilities that will be given to us in relatively a short space of time, where by the indications I'm getting in the dream state, that we'll be able to because we will be emotionally stable, okay, and we will have the personality traits to be able to handle it, but most of all, emotionally stable, all right? And many people say, well, no, I am emotionally stable. Yes, you are emotionally stable for the belief systems that created who you are now. But in order to be able to do some of the things you're going to be doing, you have to be even more stable to not go into cosmic culture shock <clears throat> when new vistas, avenues, and venues begin to open up. And most of all, you're able to handle them like a truly mature spiritual adult. Having said that, what happens is I believe what's coming is you will be able to go back and take a look at an incident that traumatized you from something that could be really, really, really horrific in your life. And let me give you an example. Uh, what they call PTSD, I think it's post-dramatic stress syndrome, <clears throat> is a horrific mental and emotional problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wouldn't it be wonderful <clears throat> if the person involved could do what I'm talking about and go back <clears throat> and take out the content that caused the PTSD in the first place and then recycle the energy of it back through the system of the vehicle of the body in the etheric <clears throat> body, in the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual body all at the same time. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to have a little sip of tea here. So what's been happening is this is <clears throat> this is what I've been experiencing. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what I've been experiencing in the dream state. And I believe that this is coming and it's coming very quickly. Pardon, pardon me for the, 
the voice issue there. I have something for lunch that probably didn't agree with me that much. Anyway, to continue on, um, I have noticed in getting this in the dream state um, school that this is an indication of what's coming and it means that this little smidget that I'm getting right now is going to develop more in the coming year for first of all a few people probably a few thousand or you know 10 20 30 thousand people and then they're going to be able to do it for themselves literally <coughs> and then what's going to happen is this and this is where it really gets exciting is on our planet night now there is a belief system that anybody who does energy work or healing work is not really doing the healing work for the person. The actual person themselves is doing the healing. I've never really agreed with that philosophy at all. I believe that there are people on this planet who have excelled and exceeded the present belief systems about healing, regenerating, and actually working with the etheric body. And I do believe right now that our society is in a state of chaos and more and more people are having issues and problems and mental problems and PTSD and all kinds of problems going on. And most of the therapies that they have are not working. So we are going to have some people who are going to develop the ability to first of all, based on their spiritual maturity, development of personality, and their dream state training school, which is going to open up more active parts of their brain, which have not been used. They're going to be able to do this for themselves, first of all, and go back and redo, take out the content of a trauma that they've experienced. Now, every individual will do this a little differently. There won't be a set method written in stone by any means of the word, but there will be different ways and venues and avenues of doing it. And all of these will be experienced in the dream state. I've been doing it through visual and also voice editing and composing, reconstructing, rebuilding. And I've been doing it all by sensing and feeling the vibration of the situation. So look at it this way. A trauma that a person has experienced or PTSD, okay? Or P am I saying? Yeah, it's P Post-traumatic stress, yeah, I'm saying it right. So when someone has experienced that, you will be able to go back and you will be able to take out the content or the trauma because it's a visual experience. It's an action experience. And then recycle the energy back through the system and you'll be able to reprogram it with more positive creative aspects through the dream state training and remove it from your template. In doing so, you will be able to do that for every one of your family members or soul group members that are in the bloodline similar to you. Now, also people who are doing energy work, they will be able to do this for other individuals. And I don't call this healing work. I call this remodeling the system of the vehicle of consciousness of the expression of their reality in timeline now. Did you get that part? Okay. If you didn't, go back and listen to it again. But it will come to them first, and then we will be able to do this for other people. Now, why is this going to happen this way? I'm going to put it to you this way. 2020 is going to be the year of speed. If you thought some of you were growing fast before, you're now going to be pushed, literally, to grow faster still. The evolutionary process is picking up the pace. And the reason it's picking up the pace is simply because we have so many people that are coming to the point of explosion, literally, and before they get to the explosion point that can, that can prevent a lot of destruction, chaos, 
and problem situations in our countries and cities and towns and continents and cultures. It's going to speed up, but it's also going to give us the people the tools to be able to assist and change all of that at the same time. So it behooves me to remind those people who are relatively active in the dream state to watch for subtle indication of you being able to edit, maneuver, control, change by paying attention to the frequency as you're experiencing this and you're doing this and listen to the voice of you. Now, in order to listen to the voice of you, you do not need to be perfect. As I said, reasonably close will do. This is not a work make, a make work project here. This is a fun project. All you need to do is to pay attention in class, in the Dream State Training School, and you will master these abilities very, very quickly and be able to use them with profound success on yourself and for your children and for your bloodline, and then you'll be able to do it in some cases for other people. Now, in a lot of cases, you'll be able to do this remotely with individuals. Some people may have started to do this already. I'm not sure on that point. I can do remote healing also, but I prefer not to at this particular point in time uh, for reasons of which I'm not going to divulge at the moment. Because there is a, something in the remote healing that one needs to be aware of, and that is how far do you need to go in the healing to get accomplished what needs to be accomplished without going overboard. So you need to be very, very tuned in to frequency and vibration and content so that you're not going to interfere with the person. You're going to just clear what is necessary. So the connection with the inner self, the voice, higher self, call it soul, call it God, call it whatever you want, doesn't matter, is the training that's necessary right now. And the timelines that I've noticed also that I've been experiencing, I have noticed that each one of these timelines that I'm going into in the out-of-body state, each have a different frequency. And I've noticed that the people in these timelines have a different vibration than what they have here. And I notice the personalities <clears throat> and the consciousness of the people that I'm bumping into, if you will, in these different timelines are different than what they are here. So I'm paying attention to these frequencies and vibration. For example, someone who is suffering from a mental disorder, or again PTSD, is in a different frequency and vibration when they're experiencing an episode of this nature. You have to be familiar, not necessarily do you have to experience it to know what they're feeling. What you do have to know is what the vibration or the resonant frequency is, for example, of PTSD. It has a frequency, it has a vibration. It's easily readable and it's easily changeable by someone who can get into it. What do I mean by get into it? Literally step forward in their multidimensional energetic self and link with that particular frequency and be able to do this. To give you an example of some of this, some of you right now are experiencing situations where uh, you're calling it, you're with your twin flame and you're around other people and suddenly you're picking up all kinds of shit from other people. This is the infancy stage of learning how to do this and it's not a lot of fun. But if you can generate and take your thoughts of this, say before you go to sleep at night and say, okay, well I'm having this happen during the day and I need to understand what's going on, you can get dream state training on it. All you got to do is make the request and you'll get the dream state training. That is, of course, if you're very active in the dream state. If you're not active in the dream state, activate yourself. If you have active, you're, uh, if you have an active heart center chakra, excuse me, you have the tools to be able to do it. You know, the heart center is not there for, it's not there for a hat rack. Initially in the beginning, it was there to change the perspective and get you going in the right direction. Now we're at a time, especially in 2020, where it's time to start using it. Start experiencing it, experimenting with it. Yeah, you're going to make a mistake or two, but that's okay. That's the fun of it. 
you get to go back and do it again without doing any harm to yourself or anyone else because you're learning about the vibrations, okay? The, the communicating word is meaningless. It's understanding and communication by vibration and energetic template. Now, how does that grab you for a video? I like it. <laughs> of course I do. I, I did it. Anyways, I'm going to leave you there at this particular point because I could go on here for an hour on this, and I don't want to because I do tend to get a little bit long-winded at time, and I do apologize for that. So I'll leave it there, and uh, if you have comments, please put the comments in, uh, you know, in reference to the video. Perhaps I can expand upon or extrapolate a little bit more, but in another video type thing. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody.